Hi guys, uh, my name is Luke. I am a woodwind tutor with Thames Music. So I teach the flute, the clarinet and the saxophone. Um, but today I'm going to be teaching the clarinet and we are going to do a little song together um, called Ode to Joy, um, which is the theme from a symphony by a composer called Beethoven. And some of you might recognize it. Sometimes you hear it a lot on um, TV or you might have heard it at a concert and um, it's a great theme and a great piece of music and I thought it would be a fun thing for us to do together. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to put our clarinet together and check that it's all set up properly. We're going to warm up on five notes C, D, E, F and G and then we're going to learn our piece and hopefully we'll do all of that in less than 10 minutes. So let's get started. Um, so we've got our clarinets and um, we're going to put them together. So just remember um, how the pieces go in their order. So we've got the bell at the bottom. Then we add this piece to it. We join this piece and remember to just press that button down so that your clarinet doesn't um, catch as you put it in. Make sure that the holes are all in a nice line. Other way to check is that that long button is in line with your thumb rest at the back. Then we put on our barrel, which is that piece. And finally, we put on our mouthpiece at the top. And on our mouthpiece, you know, if we have our mouthpiece on, but no reed, we're not going to make a sound. So we've got to make sure that we have our reed on as well. So check your reed, check that it's in a good condition, see if there's any uh, chips or cracks in it. If you have a spare one that you can put on, if there are, that would be great. Otherwise, we just put it on. And what we can do is we'll put the reed on first. We're going to sort of roughly line it up with the mouthpiece. Don't worry too much yet. We put our ligature on, which holds it in place. And then what I want you to do is look at your reed and check that it's not going over the mouthpiece. So you should be able to see a little piece of the mouthpiece, but not too much, just a tiny little bit. And then we tighten it up. So I'll show you mine. So it looks like that. So it's really just in line with the top of the mouthpiece. Great. So now that we've got that going, let's get warmed up. So, um, you know, it might be that you've not been able to have a music lesson for a while. Um, so we're going to just go back to the very basic principles of the clarinet just to remind ourselves. So, bottom lip covers our bottom teeth and our reed rests on it. Our top teeth are on the mouthpiece. We're going to close our lips around the mouthpiece and we're going to blow really gently and just get a gentle sound. And the first sound we're going to make is with no fingers, so it's an open G. So bottom lip, reed on it top teeth on the top of the mouthpiece, lips together, and then blowing gently. Really nice. Let's just keep it really nice and gentle. Give that a blow. Take a deep breath in and blow out. Just really relaxing. Breathe in and blow. Fantastic. This time we're going to do it with a beat. So I'm going to count four beats in and then we're going to hold that note for four beats. Ready? One, two, three, four. Great. And now we're going to go and we're going to put our thumb on the back hole and we're going to get F. So I'm going to hold that for four beats again. Ready? One, two, three, four. Fantastic, let's do it one more time. Thumb on the back hole. One, two, three, four. Brilliant. Now we're going to put our first finger on the hole at the front. One, two, three, four. Nice, really good. Now we put our second finger on the second hole and we get D. One, two, three, 
Oh. And finally, third finger on the bottom hole there, so we get C. So we've got all three fingers of our top hand. One, two, three, four. Really, really nice. We're gonna now go keep our fingers there and we're gonna go all the way up. But this time, instead of holding the note for four beats, we're gonna play four short notes in a row. So we're gonna play four crotchets. So one beat for each note. Ta, 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 ta. And just like I was saying ta, we're gonna use our tongue to separate each note and we're gonna put our tongue against the tip of the reed and we're gonna say ta, 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 ta on each one. So let's start with C. I'll give us four beats in before we start. Ready? One, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. E, two, three, four. F, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. Fantastic, really, really nice. So now we're gonna learn our piece. Um, we are gonna start on the note E. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna play a phrase and you're gonna copy me and then we're gonna play the whole thing through together at the end. So the first phrase goes like this. E, E, F, G. One, two, three, four. <laughs> The second phrase goes G, F, E, D. One, two, three, four. Brilliant. I'm going to play those two bars together once and then we're going to do it um, together. So let's try it. I'll do it on my own first. Listen to it. One, two, three, four. Let's do that together. Ready? Off the four. We start on the note E. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. Really, really nice. The next part, we go down to a C. And we go C, C, D, E. Let's try it. Sorry, I just got something in my throat. <coughs> Let's try. C, C, D, E. I'll play it first and we'll do it together. Two, three, go. Let's try it together now. One, two, three, go. And then the last bar, the last phrase that we're going to learn is slightly different. It's got a slightly different rhythm. So I want you to listen to it and then try and copy. So it goes long, short, long. Let's try that. One, two, three, go. Fantastic. So if we put the last two bars together that we learned, C, C, D, E, D, C, C. Let me play it once and then we'll play it together. Three, go. So we're going to try and put the whole thing together now. I'll play it once and then we'll play it together. One, two, three, four. Let's try it together. Ready? One, two, three, four.
Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me for this little lesson. Um, just to recap, we warmed up just playing an open G just to get our sound. Then we went and we practiced our five notes, C, D, E, F, and G. We did long notes on them and we did some tonguing. And then we learned a little part of Beethoven's Ode to Joy, which is from his Symphony Number no. 9. And if you want to, you could maybe look that up, listen to the whole piece and see how it sounds and see if you can find that tune that we played and where it fits in in the whole symphony. Brilliant. Thank you very much and I hope you have a great day.